The day many folks found out the Terrode YMCA pool would be closing due to financial concerns was the day they decided they weren't going to take no for an answer. A group calling themselves Why Makes Waves, Why Make Waves, for the past four months that the pool has been closed, they've been working to raise funds to turn it around. Sadie All joins me now with this story. Sadie? Yeah, Tom, the check presentation today was worth $15,600 to the YMCA, and this group, Why Make Waves, reached out to the 100 women who care who presented the check today. Now, although the pool closure was a big decision for the Y and the future remains a bit unknown, CEO Ryan Penrod says this is a step in the direction they want to go. It's pretty clear no one is making waves at the YMCA's pool at this moment. However, waves were made just down the hall Friday. The 100 women who care presented this check to help reopen the pool. We've lost something, but we've also found community in our activism. And found friendships. And friendships. Vera Kyle and Brenda Williams are two founding members of the group Why Make Waves. They're the ones who work towards seeing these community funds go toward the pool. Kyle says she used to be paralyzed, couldn't even feed herself, and the pool changed her entire life, which is why she needs it back. The access to the pool really made a difference for me. Um, I decreased my pain meds. It was an ability that I, helped me to walk a little further. Yeah, I was coming to the pool every day for about an hour and a half to two hours to be able to get my physical therapy and, and do my cardio. And now I'm literally falling apart. I need the pool. CEO of the YMCA of the Wabash Valley, Ryan Penrod, hasn't made any promises towards seeing the pool reopen. Well, because you made the tough decision to close it and to reopen it is always another difficult conversation because we don't want to have to say, yes, we're reopening it and then be in a situation where we have to close it again. It's an expense that the Y had to cut in order to help maintain their other programs. Well, it's close to $200,000 a year to operate it and the YMCA doesn't want to just raise enough money just to get it open, but we need to really make sure that we can open it and then keep it going in years to come. But Penrod's excited to see this kind of community effort. Already, Why Make Waves has raised close to $18,000 for the pool, which is a good start. The group plans to work closely with the Y to push more fundraising campaigns. Why Make Waves? Because when you make waves, you make a difference. The ladies with my Y make waves tell me that over 500 people use the pool weekly at the Y. Rose Holman and the Aquatic Center offered to open up their pools for Y users, but the one at the Y is more accessible for people with disabilities who use it as physical therapy. Sandy, when do you think we'll see more of a concrete answer to the future of the pool? Then? Well, CEO of the Wabash Valley YMCA, Ryan Penrod, says that starting next year, the Y will have a better idea of how much money they need to raise, mm -hmm. and they'll work with groups in the Valley uh, for fundraising campaigns. Now, if you'd like to donate, you can write a check to the Terre Haute YMCA directed toward the pool. Of course, a lot of people really rely on that. Definitely. All right, Sadie, thank you.